Yurinam Veti Hantaram Yurinam Veti Hantaram Yashchainam Manyate Hatam Yashchainam Manyate Hatam Ubhautau Navijani To Ubhautau Navijani To Nayong Ahanti Nahanyate Nayong Ahanti Nahanyate Nadayate Mliyate Vakadachin Nayam Bhutya Bhutya Banamuya Nadayate Mliyate Vakadachin Nahanate Hanumane Shavide He who thinks that the living entity is the slayer, or that he is slain, does not understand. One who is in knowledge knows that the self slays not, nor is slain. For the soul there is never birth nor death, nor having once been does he ever cease to be. He is unborn, eternal, ever existing, undying, and primable. He is not slain when the body is slain. So, in different ways, uh, Krishna is trying to convince us how the soul is immortal. Uh, different ways. Jainam, Jainam Vetti Hantaram. When there is fight, uh, so if one is killed, or, so Krishna says that if one thinks that this man has killed this man, so uh, or this man can kill this man, this kind of knowledge is not perfect. Nobody kills nobody. Then the butchers, they may say that, then why you do complain that you are killing? That killing the body, but you cannot kill when there is injunction, thou shall not kill. That means you cannot kill the body without sanction. You cannot kill. Although the soul is not killed, the body is killed, still you cannot kill the body without sanction. That is sinful. For example, that a man is living in some apartment. So somewhere or other you drive him away from that. Illegally you drive him away. So the man will go out and will take shelter somewhere. That's a fact. But because you have driven him away from his bona fide position, you are given up. You cannot say, although I am driven away, he will get some place. No, that's all right. But you have no power to drive him away. <laughs> he was in his legal position to live in that apartment, and because you have forcibly driven him away, you are killed. You should be punished. So this argument. The butchers or the animal killers or any kind of killer, they cannot put argument that here Bhagavad Gita says that soul is never killed. Even after destroying the body, so why you are complaining that you are killing? So this is the argument that you cannot even kill the body. 
that is not allowed that is sinful ubhautau na vijanito naya hanti na hannate so nobody kills anybody neither anybody is killed by other this is one thing. again in a different way krishna says na jayat the living entity never takes birth the uh, birth is of the body or the death is of the body living entity the spiritual spark then that being krishna's part and parcel uh, is as krishna does not take birth does not die ajopi sannit abhyatma in find in the fourth chapter ajopi krishna is ajo ajo means who never takes birth similarly we being part and parcel of krishna we also never take birth the birth and death is of this body and you are so absorbed in the bodily concept of life that when there is birth or death of the body we feel the pains and pleasure there is no pleasure of course uh, birth and death it is very painful because that is already explained the consciousness of the soul is spread all over the body therefore the uh, pains and pleasures uh, felt on account of this body uh, so krishna has already advised that such kind of pains and pleasure matra sparshas kontya uh, touching the skin only uh, one should not be very much bothered tang tithi khasabhar in this way if we think about our position self realization how we are different from the body actually this is meditation uh, if we think very seriously about Uh, our selves and about the body that is self realization uh, self realization means i am not this body i am aham brahmasmi i am spirit soul that is self realization so na jayate na mriyate va kadachit kadachit mane any time past present and future that in the past it is already explained in the past we existed maybe in a different body at present we are existing and in the future also we shall exist continue to exist maybe in a different body maybe not actually tatha dehantaram prat because after giving up this body we have to accept another body So this is going on, uh, and ignorance without knowledge of self, we are being kept in ignorance. The so-called educational system all over the world, there is no such education. Uh, they are kept in darkness and ignorance, and still so much money is being spent. especially in the western countries uh, they have got money big big high school uh, but what is the production all fools and rascals that's all because they do not know they have no idea what is self uh, and without this knowledge knowledge means self realization that i am not this body i am spirit soul that is knowledge uh, 
knowledge how to eat, how to sleep, how to defend, how to enjoy sex life, and volumes of books on the subject matter. And these are not knowledge. They are known even by the cats and dogs. Uh, the cats and dogs never read Freud's philosophy, but they know how to enjoy sex life. So this dog's philosophy will not help you. Uh, that I have got this body and I have to enjoy the bodily sex life. This is dog philosophy. The dog knows all these things. Your philosophy should be how to refrain from sex life. That is knowledge. Tapo divyam, tapasya, this human life is meant for tapasya, to refrain from sense gratification. That is knowledge. Not that how to uh, enjoy sex life or sense gratification. This is known to cats and dogs without any education, without any philosophy. Uh, the philosophy pravittireshaṁ bhūtāna nirvitte sumahāphalam Pravitti, every living entity has got this pravitti means uh, uh, propensity. <coughs> what is that? Sense enjoyment. Uh, uh, Loke babayami samadda seva nityastu jantu. Jantu means living being. Nitya, always, he has got the propensity. Bobaya Amisha Madhusi Ba. Bobaya. Bobaya means sex life. And Amisha means meat eating. Bobaya Amisha Madhusi Ba. And intoxicants. These are natural instincts of all living. Even amongst the ants, these propensities are there. Those who have studied. The ants are very much fond of being intoxicated. Therefore, they find out sweet sugar. Sweet is intoxication. Perhaps you know all. Uh, the liquor is made from sugar. Sugar is fermented with acid, sulfuric acid. And then it is distilled. That is liquor. Uh, therefore, too much sweet eating is prohibited. So, loke babaya amisamadda seva nittastu jantu. This is propensity. Material life means every living entity has got these propensities. Uh, but they have to be restricted. Prabhitti resam bhutana. That is natural instinct. But if you can stop them, that is your excellency. That is called tapasya. Tapasya means I have got naturally some propensity. But that is not good. Not good in this sense. If we continue, that propensity, then we have to accept this material body. This is the law of nature. Uh, <coughs> there is a verse, uh, Paramatya, uh, what is called? Uh, now I'm forgetting that. That everyone is mad, mad after sense gratification. Rasadhu, Rasadhu manne, jato atmayam, asan api asataya, deha, deha mas. So now we continue this propensity of sense and enjoyment. You will have to accept body. That is birth and death. So long. Therefore, the uh, process should be 
how to make zero all these frequencies. That is perfection. Not to enhance it. Nunam pramatta kurute vikarma. Jadindriya fritae aprinoti. Nunam. Alas. Indeed. Pramatta, these mad men. They are mad, those who are after these propensities. Bobaya Amisa Madhya Siva. Sex, intoxication, and meat eating. They are all mad men. Pramat. Nunam Pramatta Purute Vikarma. Vikarma means uh, uh, activities which are prohibited. Uh, you see, for these three things, Amisha Madhya Seva, for sex life, for meat eating, for drinking, people are working, not only working, dishonestly working. How to get money, how to get the black market, white market, this, that, only for these three things. Amisha Madhya Seva, meat eating, intoxication. Simply for the sex, meat eating and drinking. In the Vedic literature they have studied analytically, not now, since very, very long time. You see? This is natural inclination. They are, or the creation is not new. There were many, many creations. Uh, so all the records are there. So it is not new thing. Uh, therefore, uh, This is the instruction of Rishabde to his sons. My dear sons, uh, don't be misled. These rascal fools, they have become mad after this thing. Uh, meat eating and intoxication and sex life. Uh, <coughs> uh, it is not good at all. I don't uh, uh, allow, I don't say it is very good. It is not at all good. Why it is not good? We are enjoying life. Uh, yes, you are enjoying now, but Jato Atmanayam Asanapi Asato Deho. So long we'll continue with these things. You will have to accept body. And when you accept body, there must be birth, there must be death, there must be disease, and there must be uh, what is called old age. You will suffer. You will suffer. But your actual position is. No uh, You do not take birth, but you have conditioned yourself to take birth. Actually, your position is no birth, eternal life. As Krishna is eternal. Similarly, every one of us, we are eternal because we are part and parcel of Krishna. The same quality. As Krishna is Satchit Ananda Vigraha, he is Paul. Transcendental form, eternal form, full of knowledge, full of bliss. Similarly, we are also, although particle, the same quality that Buddhists say no jayat. This problem, uh, these rascal civilizations, they cannot understand. That I am eternal, I am put into this condition of birth and death, no rascal understands. So-called philosophers, scientists, all of them, they are for rascals, fools. Reject them. Reject them immediately. Uh, they are working hard, the same. Nunam pramatta kuruti vikarma. Just like madman works. What is the value of madman's work? Mm-hmm. If he is busy whole day and night, I am very busy. Now, what you are, sir? You are a madman. 
Your brain is cracked, crazy. <laughs> so what is the value of your work? My battery. This is going on. Huh. So, so Krishna consciousness is just imagine how important movement it is. It is the best welfare activities for the human society. They are all fools and rascals and they have no knowledge, ignorant of their constitutional position and they are unnecessarily working hard day and night. Therefore they have been say murha. Murha means ass. The ass works day and night for the horse and man, for little grass. Well, grass is available everywhere, but he still he thinks that if I do not work for the horse and man very hard, I will not get this grass. This is called ass. Therefore, when one becomes intelligent after cultivating knowledge, uh, one becomes intelligent by and by. First of all, brahmachari. Then, if one cannot remain a brahmachari, all right, take a wife, grihastha, then give up, bana prastha, then take sandhas. Uh, this is process. Uh, then the murha, they will work day and night for sense gratification. Therefore, at a certain period of life, that uh, stupidity should be given up and taken sanna. No, finish. That is sanna. Uh, now this portion of life should be completely for Krishna's service. That is real sanna. Anasita karma phalam, karjam karma karoti. It is my duty to serve Krishna. I am eternal servant of karjam. Must I do? Must I serve Krishna? That is my position. That is sannyas. Anasita karma phalam, karjam karma karoti. The kormis, they are expecting some good result for sense gratification. That is kormi. And sannyasi means they are also working very hard, but not for sense gratification, for the satisfaction of Krishna. That is sannyas. This is sannyas and kormi. Kormi also works very hard, uh, harder and harder. But all for this, amisa madhya seva. Amisa madhya seva. only for sex life, eating meat. And intoxication. And a devotee works in the same way, hard, but for Krishna's satisfaction. This is the difference. And if you want life before, like this, no more sense gratification, simply for Krishna, then you come to this position, Najayat, no more death, no more birth. Because your position is. That is your actual position. Uh, but because you are, you are in ignorance, paramatta, you have become mad, you have become crazy, therefore you are taken to this process of sense gratification, therefore you are entangled in a material body and the body is changing, that is called birth and death. So if you stop, if you want to stop this birth and death, uh, don't indulge in sense gratification. Then again in time. Nunam pramatta kuru devita. Jad indriya prita e aprinoti. Nasadu manne jatu atmaya. Asanna piyasa kudir. All right, this body is for few years. It will be ended. And that's all right. It will be ended, but you will have to accept another body. Uh, the body, accept on the body you have to, because you have got desire, uh, sense gratification. The sense gratification means you must have material senses to gratify. The Krishna is so pleased, so merciful, not pleased, but he is very merciful. All right, you, he, this rascals wants like this, giving this facility, all right. 
this rascal wants to eat stool all that. Let him have a body, a pig. Uh, this is going on, nature's law. Uh, so this knowledge, Bhagavad Gita knowledge is so perfect uh, for the human society. Uh, and Krishna wants that this knowledge should be spread uh, because every body Sarvajoni Sukantiya, Sambhavanti Murtaya. He is the seed giving father. Father is naturally well with her. These are these rascals. They are suffering. Prakritisthani. Manasasthani Indrani Prakritisthani Kasi. Simply by guided by mental speculation. Mana. And assisted by the senses, they are struggling so hard. And if they come back to me, and they can live so nicely uh, as uh, my friend, as my uh, lover, as my father, as my mother, Vrindavan. Uh, so claim them, again call them. That therefore Krishna comes. Jada jada ahidhanu. Because the whole world is uh, running on under the false impression of sense enjoyment. Therefore he comes and advises, Sarvadarman Paritta you rascal, give up all this engagement. Don't be proud that you are scientifically advanced, you are all rascals. Give up this nonsense, come to me, I will give you protection. This is Krishna, how merciful he is. And the same business should be done by Krishna's servant, uh, not to become a great yogi, magic player. No, that is not required. Simply speak what Krishna says. Then he becomes spiritual. Don't speak anything nonsense. Svetan Mahaprabhu also says, Jare dakho tare koho Krishna upodis. Simply you preach the instruction of Krishna, whomever you meet, then you become spiritual. That's all. Very simple thing. Thank you very much.